Going with Bobby Knippel, the two veterans, Larry 46, his partner 47 years of age, their opponents Scott Devers and Mats Carlson of Sweden. First shot, Larry Laub. Beautiful. He was fifth here with Dave Sutar two years ago, 1988. Now look at Mats Carlson, Bo. Matt's from Sweden, only bowling four more tournaments in the United States, taking over his dad's manufacturing firm in a couple of months, and he's decided to quit bowling. So our first doubles match is all even after a frame. And now Matt's teammate, 28-year-old Scott Devers, from Centerville, Indiana, right close to Richmond, Indiana, will do all of his shooting today on the left lane. Unusual to have a team make the top five with both a left hander and a right hander. A three time winner on the PBA tour. The reason that you don't see many lefty righty combinations is that they can't help each other. And sometimes when a left hander is going very good, the right hander struggles. So it is somewhat unusual, although Carlson and Devers are making it work. Now, Knippel, second frame. Bobby getting a bad break because the wobbly 10 still stands. Bobby, who has been a PBA member for 25 years, one victory, that was in 1973, in the King Louis Open in Overland Park, Kansas. Tenth television appearance, first since 1986. All right. Very likable young man, and they make a wonder, wonderful veterans doubles pair. Now his teammate, Laub, who had a strike. And unfortunately, he comes up with a 4-10, Bo. Larry Laub just a little bit soft, a little bit tentative on that shot as the ball drift high on the left-hand lane. Very difficult split. He needs to get the ball over in the, to the left of the four pin and drive it into the 10. Laub will go for it, but it's a very tough shot. Very loud, who won the 1984 United States Open in New York City, beating Johnny Petraglia, Gary Dickinson, and Dave Davis. Now, the thing to remember, a player does not change lanes. So, Mats Carlson bowled on lane 60 here at the showboat in the first frame. He'll bowl there in the third, fifth, seventh, and ninth. That's why it's so easy to get zeroed in and shoot some big scores. for the right-hander, Mats Carlson. Two, four, five, eight. Carlson playing just about the center of the lane, down around the second arrow. Doesn't quite get the lift necessary to make the ball finish. Pretty tough spare, has a double up. He needs to convert this spare to keep the 22-pin lead. Mats Carlson became the first Foreign, born and resident professional to win an event on the vast PBA Tour bow. Won in Europe and uh, could not take the prize money, Chris. Uh, mm -hmm. We've had other foreign players win. Really, the first true foreign player to win was Guppy Troop, who was actually not a citizen of the United States when he first won, although he lived over here. Okay. The Hoosier, Scott Devers, coming up with another strike for his team. We're in our first game. More after this. More than the length of a football field. How about a couple of football fields? This is professional bowling at its finest. It's the doubles classic, Bobby Knippel. Coming out just to bowl with his partner, Larry Laub. They're trailing by 19. I don't know if there was something that bothered Bobby Knippel or whether he stuck at the line a bit. Well, Bobby hasn't been under the fire for a long time, and he lets the ball slide by the head pin. He needs to get the ball over next to the 1-2, drive the head pin into the 10, convert that washout, and 
try to hold that lead of Carlson and Devers just down to 19 pins. So it's the first open frame of this first doubles match, Laub and Knippel. We asked them earlier if after this week's success would they like to come back out on the tour full time. Well, I know for me, uh, I'm just tuning up for the seniors tour. Uh, I still love the competition, but uh, I'm not going to be out here. For I'll wait for the seniors. There's no way I'll come back. Now, we, I felt like this week we did all right, but uh, I couldn't come back week after week and go with these young kids. Okay, and as you saw, Laub with a strike in the fifth frame now. Their opponents, Mats Carlson, fifth frame. Well, they just keep adding to that lead now up to 40 pins over Laub and Knippel. Scott Deaver's getting ready. This team here, a great spare shooting team, although they have struck in the first four out of five frames. Neither player throws very much hook. They depend on keeping the ball around the pocket, takes the strikes as they come, and try to fill the frames. So they can open a commanding lead if Scott Devers can strike here. And he does. The man that finished second at the Budweiser Classic in Sunrise, Florida. His first TV appearance this year. Bobby Knippel came out on the tour in 1967, bowled steady till 1979, then quit. Came back in 1984 again, and has been kind of in semi-retirement the last two years. Just having a good time did it this week. Leaving the 4-7, the 47-year-old has all sorts of nicknames, hooks, nips, cranker. But he's one of the really delightful guys we've met over the years on tour. What's Smiling off to our right is Butch Soper, our scorekeeper, another Californian. Larry Lobb, one of the first motorhome touring players out here and back in the 70s and made it very popular. Great way to travel. And plagued by the 10. Well, Larry Lobb bowled as good as anybody. He's a Hall of Famer and had just a tremendous game. He has a great arm swing and uh, obviously has maximized it over the years. You see his wife, Pam, and his daughter, Whitney, on the left. Has one of the great arm swings in the game. Has allowed him to be very successful. All right, and none of the many uh, fishermen that are members of the PBA. We're in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, a city. Those lighter weight classes are always exciting because of the speed and the action that those professionals give you. That's on Wide World. Not